This is both exciting and scary. Uh, when I see the quality of these reproductions, it's, it really does give me goosebumps. I'm Mark Mayer, of course, uh, Director and CEO of the National Gallery, and welcome to all of our distinguished guests from Veris Art, Arias Technology, Larson Jewell, and Ose. You've done a remarkable work. I'd like to tell you a little bit about our perspective on this. Stephen Gritt is the National Gallery's Director of Conservation and Technical Research. He's been a leader um, in all things technological and the advancements in, in this institution. He's our thought leader in all these kinds of uh, scientific endeavor, uh, endeavors. We're all of us very, very enthusiastic to be working with these three fine companies to, uh, to, uh, to create this paradigm shift. So we wanted to help out in the very beginning, and now we've gotten closer and closer. And I'm really quite staggered at uh, the remarkable achievement. Um, when Arius and Veris Art took the NRC technology to the next level, we were really keen to stay involved, to just see this through right to uh, the end product, as it were. We saw opportunities for using 3D prints for outreach and education purposes and to allow the National Gallery to have a presence in places where we can't really take original art. Some of these things are so precious, they never leave here. Uh, and there are things that are so precious that they never leave storage, in fact, let alone be sent to places that don't have climate control, that don't have museums, and that don't get to see original works of, uh, of the old masters and the modern masters. In terms of technical art history, uh, the scanning technology will become a powerful tool for sharing information that is ordinarily accessible to a tiny, tiny, tiny group of, of people, those who have the privilege of looking at paintings through high-powered microscopes. So there's that advantage as well. And our overriding interest, of course, is using the 3D prints in schools. In the next few months, we will be sending prints to some of the schools that are part of our distance learning program, which allows our educators to talk to students in classrooms across Canada, in some remote places that don't have access to original works of art of this quality. It's great for us to be able to talk with them online in the classroom, but we're talking about something that they're seeing uh, on a monitor, and this gives us an opportunity to show them something that they can actually touch, um, and we will insist that they should never touch the real ones, but it's very hard to distinguish them. That's why I said earlier this is scary stuff. We've seen a lot of textured reproductions, but they're generically textured. Here, you've got the actual shape of the actual stroke. Um, that's where it gets to be really scary. You're able to touch something, and let's say um, you've got a handicap and are not able to see a, a painting. What is a painting? Well, if you can touch one and have it explained that this is the application of paint, a viscous substance that then hardens, you can pretty much figure out what a painting is if you're able to touch it. The trick is to be able to touch it. Uh, so we'll be using these prints also in our education studio to share our collection with people with disabilities, for example. The gallery will receive a percentage of each uh, sale, thank you, which we will put into programming for the benefit of all Canadians. In addition, uh, Verisart has generously agreed to donate its educational fund to the National Gallery to support distribution of the 3D prints to schools across the country. And for that, we're very, very grateful.